Hi, in this lecture, I will discuss about modulus of subgrade reaction. Okay, that is used for the design of foundations. So what is modulus of subgrade reaction? Modulus of subgrade reaction is used as primary input for rigid pavement design. It estimates the spot of the layers below a rigid pavement surface core, uh, surface, uh, surface cores means uh, under the foundation there is soils means a layer of soils. So for for the simulation of that uh, layer of soil in the softwares we use the modulus of subgrade reaction. The K value can be determined by field tests or by correlations with other tests. There is no direct laboratory uh, approach or procedure for determining k values okay so for the design of foundations we have to use some method or some uh, researcher guidelines so how we use the modulus of subgrade reactions there are different approaches given by different authors mm, for example basic approach method that is given by westergaard uh, visic approach Okay, uh, Terzaghi approach, Bowles approach, there are different approaches for the modulus of subgrade reaction. So in this lecture, I will discuss only two that is used, that is really used in the field. So one is basic approach method. The second one is the Joseph E. Bowles approach method. Okay, so first one is the, what is the modulus of subgrade reaction? So all will be covered in the basic approach method. The modulus of subgrade reaction came about uh, why this came about because work done by Westergaard during the 1920s developed the K value as a spring constant to model the spot beneath the slab. So it behaves just like the spring. So the modulus of subgrade reaction it behaves like the spring. For example, you apply the load, the deformation will come under. So that all depend the stiffness of the springs. Okay. So here the reactive, uh, for example, here the figure one shows. In the figure two, the reactive pressure uh, to resist the load is thus, uh, is thus proportional to the spring deflection. Means uh, the, uh, the pressure, the load which you applied is directly proportional to the deflection. So here is the K spring constant. Here is the numerical expression P is equal to K delta where p is the allowable pressure and delta is the allowable uh, deformation so that is the approach i have used in my previous lectures so here here is the approach which is i have used in the, my previous lectures that is k is equal to pressure over deformation okay so here is the formula for modulus of subgrade uh, pressure over settlement so allowable settlement is 25 millimeter so i have converted into meter 25 divided by 1000 so result is 8000 kilo newton per meter cube so that's how i have calculated the modulus of subgrade reaction in my previous lectures so let's see here is the modulus of subgrade reactions in the book that is foundation analysis and design fifth edition by joseph e Bowes. So that is the basic approach that is allowable pressure divided by allowable settlement. Okay, so there are different approaches uh, for the calculation of modulus of, modulus of subgrade reaction, player load test. Okay, so here is the uh, Terzaghi approach that is the formula. Here is a basic approach. So here at the end, Powell's provided uh, its own approach that is the uh, bowels approach okay for the calculation of stiffness modulus okay so so how bowels calculated the uh, modulus of subgrade reaction so here so let's complete the sentence the modulus of subgrade reaction is estimated from other uh, strength slash stiffness tests however in situ values of means uh, value of subgrade reaction we can also find in the field by using plate bedding test or plate load test. So now comes uh, the second approach for the modulus of subgrade reaction. So here Bowles recommended following approximation to determine Ks means modulus of subgrade reaction based on allowable bedding, uh, bedding capacity as suggested by geotechnical engineer. Okay. 
SI means system international metric system. And the modulus of subgrade reduction formula is KS is equal to 40 into uh, factor of safety, safety factor multiplied by QA allowable bearing pressure. In FPS, that is 12 into safety factor multiplied multiply by QA. So here, so how the bowels calculated this SI is equal to 40 into SF. The bowels uses uh, only uh, only the difference is bowels uses the ultimate bearing capacity instead of uh, instead of directly allowable in the formula. For example, here I have used allowable pressure divided by allowable settlement, but uh, but bowels use used uh, sorry here. Bowels used the allowable bearing uh, ultimate bearing pressure. So here for the calculation of allowable bearing pressure, we calculate by using Q ultimate that we calculate from uh, formulas like Terzaghi, Vizik or Mayerhoff. Okay, Q ultimate divided by fa uh, safety factor that is Q allowable. So for the Q ultimate, you will multiply with the safety factor. You will get Q ultimate again. So soft uh, so bowels use that value. So again, modulus of subgrade reaction, Q ultimate divided by delta H. That's the approach of Bowles. Bowles not using the Q allowable in the upper portion. So what happened next? Okay, here's the KS, Q ultimate divided by delta H. So the ultimate soil pressure is considered uh, at the settlement of 25.4 millimeter, or you can round about it to 25 millimeter, that is one inch. So Q ultimate divided by uh, one inch settlement, or a 25 millimeter settlement. So when you divide uh, th that value, and now I am again writing in the form of QA into safety factor. Okay, so when you will uh, di one divided by this, then the, uh, the then the so uh, calculator will give you the value of 40. One over 0 0.0254 equal to 40. So 40 SF into K -A, QA. Uh, Q ultimate is equal to Q A into safety factor. Bowles uses Q ultimate because Bowles suggested that uh, we are uh, using the modulus of subgrade reaction for the simulation purpose. So for that purpose, we should use the Q ultimate not uh, as the safety of factor. So that's why uh, safety factor is multiplying not in the division sense. So 40 into safety factor into Q A. Okay, similarly in the FPS system, one in settlement, same formula. Okay, and we will get the uh, 12 SF into QA. Where delta H means the undervalue delta H is considered 6, 12, 20 millimeter and so on. In this example, we have used 25 millimeter. Uh, the 40 factor will come upon using uh, 25 millimeter settlement. But uh, 40 is the considerable sufficient conservative value, but one can choose smaller displacement value depending upon their needs. Okay. So now let's see an example with both methods with basic approach and with the bowels approach. So here, so here is the input data for the problem. Here is the footing with two meter by two meter mean X direction and Y direction. Footing thickness uh, is 600 millimeter and column size means column size is also 600 by 600 millimeter in scale. The dead load is 1000 kilonewton and live load is 1000 kilonewton. Okay, so I have already modeled the example with soil subgrade modulus with the basic approach and with the uh, balls approach. So now I will just close it. Okay. So here is the example, same example, two meter by two meter, right click, you can check the loads, 1500 kilonewton. Okay, so let's see the modulus of subgrade reaction. Soil subgrade modulus. Okay, here is the value, uh, basically 2000 kilonewton per meter cube. Here, I will put the value of model of subgrade reaction. For example, I am zooming the allowable bedding pressure that is 100 kpa 
and the factor used for the allowable bedding pressure that is 2.5 it is very uh, between 2 to 2, uh, 3 so which factor we use it depends upon the uh, soil type so let's suppose uh, we calculated the allowable bedding pressure after applying the safety factor 2.5 so allowable bedding pressure is 100 okay i am dividing with 25 millimeter you can round it or you can use 25.4 uh, millimeter okay i will just hit enter so i got the modulus of subgraded reaction 4000 kilonewton per meter cube okay but that is for the basic approach or the western guard approach okay 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 so now you can click footing and soil assign in this soil 4000 uh, modulus of subgraded reaction is assigned okay the same example but with different modulus of subgraded reaction based on Bowles approach okay Bowles approach define soil subgraded modulus here I will use 40 into uh, safety factor that is 2.5 into allowable bedding pressure okay that is 100 so now I am getting the modulus of subgraded reaction 10,000 kilonewton per meter cube. okay okay now I will run both examples let's see first example by basic approach okay so let's see the punching shear value here show the punching shear value so 0 0.47 to 1 so let's see the punch, uh, first run the analysis and design and go display show punching shear design okay the value is uh, nearable uh, not much difference okay with the change of subgrade modulus so where the difference will come that will come in the deformation we will see at the end so now see the soil sub uh, soil pressure values okay so here soil pressure apply in the second combination close the soil pressure is 106 and 109 so let's see in the uh, um, bowels subgrade modulus approach okay soil pressure not the point reaction soil pressure against normal combination service load combination 2 in which one dead plus one live is used live okay so let's see the values that is 106 here is 105 109 and 111 uh, 111 so not much big big difference in the even in the pressures so where the difference will come by using the different uh, bowels approach modulus of subgraded reaction or basic approach here see display uh, show deform shape okay in the load combination we will see against the normal combination to apply so here the deformation comes maximum deformation is 26 27 millimeter in the negative display show deform shape load combination okay let's see uh, here the deformation is 10 or 11 millimeter so much difference why we use the higher stiffness modulus or modulus of subgraded reaction is small okay so uh, what's the difference uh, we will need the smaller thickness foundation in the modulus of subgraded reaction by Bowles approach that is also used in the field for many years people are also using this approach also using this approach that is approximate approach but giving the good result okay so in the conclusion the both approaches are working in the design field balls approach uh, of sub modulus of subgrade gives conservative and satisfactory, satisfactory values for the design depending uh, based on experience from the previous values it giving the the uh, the good values but the basic approach is too conservative and based upon the basic phenomena okay basic design philosophy okay it is extreme safe side and it follows the basic philosophy of spring constant so i will recommend to you you can use bowels approach models of subgrade direction and it is safe also safe to use in the design okay so you can also use the higher models of subgrade direction based on uh, 
uh, bowels approach so that's all for the for the foundation uh, for the modulus of subcritic direction used in the designs so that's all have a nice day